Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Terror. I hope everybody's well. So this is going to be the second half of the weekly reading for October 27th through the 2nd of November. Um, unfortunately, I had to stop at the halfway point after the water and fire signs for the first half of it. Chromebook was getting ready to die. I had to get the kid in the shower. You know, life happens. So... I'm plugged in. I'm charging. The first half is uploading as we speak. Capricorn, we're kicking it off with you. Go through the spiel real quick. If it doesn't, it doesn't resonate with your sun sign, check your moon rising or Venus readings. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Everybody's welcome at my table. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. If you think you might want to come stop by more often, you think we're going to vibe and shit. That'd be awesome of you. If you're returning, welcome back. So nice to see a familiar, friendly face. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care if they're my cards or someone else's. And if it is not your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It is that simple. So, Capricorn, we're kicking off the Earth signs with you. over there so it's out of my way three more shuffles Empress, challenge the star. All right, something has potential that's coming in. Something that could grow, something that can birth something new. The challenge is you're still healing from something old. Okay. The Hermit, the Page of Cups, the Five of Pentacles. Oh gosh, okay. Don't panic. Nobody panic. Why is it happening? Ace of Swords reversed. Nine of Cups reversed. Tower reversed. Oh! You had a rebuild that didn't go well. Okay, so I'm feeling like... Okay, we'll address this first. Hermit card. Self-isolation, going within, finding the inner light, processing a healing, walking the path. Okay. You're doing you. You're doing what you need to be doing right now. You're healing. Okay. Well, there's that start of the growth. There's the page of cups. There's the offer. Could represent an apology. I'll get a clarifier on it in a second. But it feels new. It feels new. There's this five of pentacles at the end of the week. Somebody get left out in the cold. Ugh. Nah, nobody panic. I feel like it's happening because there's a rebuild. Possibly out of loneliness and desperation. It didn't go so well. New start didn't kick off. You didn't get a do-over, maybe. I don't know. I'll throw a clarifier on it in a second. But we're going to go over this. And this is something that I, I don't even know how many readers ha have preached to me over the years and have preached to all of us over the years. If you do something out of loneliness and desperation, if you get into a connection out of loneliness and desperation, it's not going to go well. Because you're energetically vibing at that point. Are you listening? You're down here. You're lonely. You're desperate. You're depressed. You're sad. You just want something. You want a band-aid. You want a band-aid to heal the wound. What do you think you're, you're bringing in? Desperation, loneliness, I need a band-aid. I need something or someone to help me heal this. These connections don't work. They don't come together well because you're both vibing real low. That's why they don't work. You need to raise your vibration first before you get into a connection. So you're not in that state of desperation and sadness and loneliness. You're up here. Up above the camera where you should be. And then you, you can attract something that's not desperate or lonely or needs a band-aid. So you're both vibrating high so you can go higher. 
and go higher together. Mm. You got a long way to go if you try to start something down here. Just throwing that out there. Why this did not work. So you're healing from it. You're doing what you need to do. All right, give me the outcome. Queen of Cups, make or break. Knight of Swords, being honest. I feel like you guys, I can't remember what water sign or what sign that I did in the first half of this got a similar reading. The outcome is self-love, doing its best for you, Queen of Cups. The make or break is having the honest conversation. This is communication. So, I think this is where this comes into play. I don't know if it's you or the other person in the situation, but somebody needs to heal. Okay, let's get a little clarity. Just a little, not much, because I don't need much. What's the Five of Pentacles all about? King is, Queen of Swords reversed into the King of Swords reversed. Eh, somebody not taken to it too well. Hereford reversed, Lovers reversed. Divine connection that does not come together because someone had to make a choice to love themselves first. Okay. Please don't ghost out on somebody. I'm feeling like that's what happens. What's the page of cups? Nine of wands and the ten of wands. Just when I thought it was something new. Empress into the emperor. Just when I thought it was something new. That cup might hold an apology if it's somebody old. If it's somebody new coming in. Forget I said that. Splits the story a little bit, yeah. Nine of Wands, it can represent walls going around you. Going into the Ten of Wands, which this is what I love about the in-between tarot. We're clarifying with the in-between. It's two cards in one. Super cool. Love it. <sighs> having to get something off your chest. Having to release a burden. Healing, if you will. It has all the potential to be a divine union. It really does. Somebody needs to heal first. So if the Nine of Wands is one last go around, which it might be if this is something old, it does still have the potential, but it's the, I need to heal. And I'm feeling like with this Five of Pentacles, somebody's going to get ghosted because conversation's not going to take place and there's going to be hurt feelings. And something's not going to kick off properly because someone can't have the conversation or something can't get restarted because someone's not having a conversation. Someone's not being honest about feelings here. It's just my, what I'm intuitively getting out of this without seeing it in front of me on the table. It's what I'm feeling right now. But ultimately, you're doing what you need to be doing. You're healing. You're walking the path. You're lighting your own path. You're not letting someone else light it for you. <clears throat> hmm. Do I really need to clarify anything else? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Queen of Coins into the King of Coins. Knowing your worth and exercising your right to know your worth. 
You have to know your worth in this situation. If you're going to allow somebody to return, do they see and value your worth? If someone's new coming in, do they see and value your worth? Are you going to give them the opportunity to do so, or are you going to ghost out on their ass? I don't know. I just work here. That's what I say all the time. I don't know. I just work here, guys. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Four of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Emperor Reversed. Don't slam the door on this connection. This could, this has all the potential to be a beautiful coming together and a beautiful balancing out, but don't slam the door on it because you're afraid it's going to go all out of control again. Two on that emperor. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Cups reversed. Yeah. Don't call game on something because of past baggage. Don't don't let old energies come in and confuse new energies, if that makes any sense to anybody. And don't slam the door on this. Don't call game on it yet. Will of Fortune, the Fool, and Death. Okay, so old things have to close out before new things can begin. Death cycles happen for a reason. They're painful. They suck. It's not easy. But they teach us something. This was destined and fated to happen. I know it hurt. I know it sucked. But you're healing. But the important thing is to be healed before you proceed for something new. But if you're going to cut something new off... If you're going to cut something new off at the knees, don't do it out of fear. Because that's just self-sabotaging bullshit that you don't need. And have the conversation. If you need to tell somebody, hey, I need a little bit more time. Can we get to know each other? Have the damn conversation. It's not hard. It's really not hard. Because if you fail to have the conversation, what's going to happen? You're going to... You're not going to heal, and you're going to carry the baggage into the new connection, and the same damn thing is going to happen again. Or there's going to be bad blood between you because you just ghosted it out, of, ghosted out on their ass you didn't have the conversation. Talk about it. It's okay to express your feelings. It's okay to tell somebody what you need. Bottom of the deck, King of Pentacles. Wow. 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 It's all about knowing your worth and exercising your worth and making sure that you know and acknowledge the other person's worth. Don't ghost out. If it has potential to be something powerful and amazing, give it a chance to grow. But if you need a little more time, I mean, this is slow moving shit right here, guys. This is like Capricorn energy if I've, if I've ever seen it. Take your time. If you need time, take your time. Don't go rushing into anything. Oh, that was easy. Okay. All right. That was, that was easy enough. Making sure nothing's mixed up here. Making sure nothing's mixed up. Okay. I feel like I had more clarifiers on the board than that. I better double check that. I feel like I had way more clarifiers. Huh, maybe I didn't. Okay. I guess we'll find out when I shuffle. Doris, you're up. Five of Swords reversed, Knight of Wands. Okay.
Still feeling the defeat, but okay. You're rushing right back into something anyway? Something's rushing toward you? Huh. Alright. What the fuck, Taurus? I just realized I didn't tip the tipper. I just realized I didn't tip the camera down. That's better. You guys are looking at the cards and not my ugly mug. Okay. So. Deciding you're not going to put energy into something. Regaining control. Closing a door. Something is rushing toward you. Okay, why is it happening? Forward movements. This is forward movement. Two of Pentacles reversed. Justice. Six of Pentacles reversed. You couldn't make your mind up about something. Something was not equal. Something. I think the universe came in and did something for you. Still feeling the defeat of it. You're pushing forward. What's the outcome look like? Moving on, Four of Pentacles reversed, Ace of Cups. You're letting go. You're moving on. You're moving forward. The make or break is walking away, closing the door. Hmm. Okay. Clear something up here. more. Talk to me about this Knight of Wands, Spirit. I gotta learn to like not open my mouth before I put clarifiers on shit. Okay. Judgment reversed, world reversed. You're moving on. You're but the problem is you're leaving something unfinished. You're making a final judgment call on something. You're making a final judgment call. And something that hasn't closed out yet. You're closing a door. You're closing a cycle. You're going of your own accord. You are electing to no longer put energy into something. You are taking your fucking power back. And you're shutting a door. It didn't break you, Taurus. It didn't break you. You, you feel defeated? It's not going to break you. You're taking your power back. Sweetheart. That is awesome. All right, separate this out a little bit. Give me one on justice, please. Three of swords reversed. Ten of coins reversed and the ace of coins reversed. The universe did your ass a favor. You tried to snuff the emotions that went along with it. You, you tried to ignore the pain, but it made you restless. You couldn't make up your mind. You knew something was not equal. You knew something was not... Something, something wasn't good for you, and you knew it. 
The universe did you a favor. I think the uni... <laughs> One more on that. Nine of Wands. Yeah. It was always one last push, one last try. It became, it was starting to become burdensome because you tried to ignore the feelings. You knew it wasn't good for you. You knew it wasn't equal, but you could not make up your mind. I think the mighty sword of justice came down and you felt the defeat. I gotta put one on this five of swords. Okay, six of cups. No wonder. You go way back with this person. There's a lot of emotion here. There's a lot of emotion. And that's what led to a lot of confusing feelings. Ten of cups. Ace of cups, both reversed. There was no happiness. I think you hung on. You tried so hard to hold on, but you weren't happy. You were not happy. You didn't want to let go. But you're letting go and you're moving forward. Fuck yeah, Taurus! <laughs> you go! <laughs> the question is, are you going to keep walking? Are you going to shut the door and keep walking? Well, the universe just gave me two cards, so we're going to take them. Seven of Wands into the Eight of Wands. Page of Cups reversed and Knight of Cups reversed. you damn right you're going to keep walking. And you're not going to feel bad about it. You're rising up. You're going to keep walking. Oh my God, I would give you a high five right now if I could. Keep walking, baby. Keep walking. Bottom of the deck. Eight of cups into the nine of cups. You are going toward happiness. It's going to be a painful walk. I'm not going to lie to you. Give it time. Give it time. Give it time. Keep walking, baby. The universe loves you. Just throwing that out there. Queen of Cups reverse, the Tower, and the Nine of Cups. When you can't do it for yourself, the universe will do it for you. You are that loved. You are. Sometime in the moment, you know, it doesn't feel like you're loved, but you're loved. If you won't, of your own accord, get bullshit out of your life, the universe will do it for you. Because it, it loves you that much. Unfortunately, the flip side of that is, well, sometimes it hurts. But you will find happiness and self-fulfillment at the end of that tower moment when the dust settles. You will find happiness. But you have to allow it. You can't fight the death cycle. You can't fight it. So I don't recommend that you do. Don't have a bad attitude about it either. <laughs> Why is the Seven of Cups here? Ace of Swords, Three of Swords, on top of a Seven of Cups. Yeah. It's going to hurt, but you got to process those emotions. And sometimes those emotions are confusing. Six of Cups into the Seven of Cups up here. Sometimes you're left directionless, and you don't know where to go. Allow yourself to be guided. Allow yourself to be guided through this process. But don't fight the process. Bottom of the deck, Knight of Swords reversed. And the Empress.
sometimes to grow, you need to cut stuff out of your life. Even if the moment it doesn't feel good. King of Pentacles reversed. The universe loves you. It's going to be hard at first, but don't fight it. That's upside down. Ace of Cups. I couldn't remember if this was up or down when I put the deck down. Anyway, Taurus, that's beautiful. Whoa, I don't want to mix those up in there. I do that a lot. That's why I try to keep them off to the side as far as possible. Woo, I'm starting to lose my energy here. I can't do that. Can't do that. It is getting like late. That was like quarter to ten at night. I couldn't do this earlier today because my son stayed home sick today. So I'm uh, having to catch up from being on mom duty all day with a very needy, very sick little boy. It's okay. My first job and ultimately my most important one is being a mother. So. And I embrace that with all my heart and soul. Okay, where are we at? Virgo. Three more for Virgo. One. Two. Three. A bit of a crossroads, friend. Letting the ships leave the dock without you, concentrating on the task at hand before you. The challenge, however, is the attitude you're putting toward it. Okay. <clears throat> That's interesting. I feel like some of you are like delving into work right now. Like that's all you're concentrating on is work, 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 work. You're not healing. Throwing in the towel on something, slamming the door on something. Why is it happening? It's a little page. It's a little page. Ten of Swords reversed, Wheel of Fortune reversed in the page of Wands. That's interesting. Y'all leave something unfinished. What the hell? Okay.
Outcome, Queen of Cups, Challenge, Nine of Pentacles, or Make or Break, Finding Your Independence, Nine of Pentacles, coming into your own, your hard work paying off. What you do with it challenges your attitude. Why do you have an attitude? The page is speaking to me. The page is speaking to me. We'll address those in a minute. You know, if they decide to come back out. I'm not addressing them now, obviously. I'm shuffling them back in. Speak to me. All right, two more. Oh my goodness. My fingers keep getting caught on stuff, guys. Zero emotion. Zero emotion. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have healed from that either. It wasn't you that left something unfinished. Well, halfway. It was somebody else. Y'all had somebody come back. It wasn't for love. I'll tell you that right now. It wasn't for love. Something you were supposed to release. Something that was painful. Ended up coming back to haunt you. Sun card into the judgment. Ace of Wands into the Two of Wands. Oh gosh. Wanted to start something new. I feel like this is someone that didn't want to be let go, but I don't feel like that. I'm, you know, I'm just going to say it. They tried to get into your pants. I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. They did not have the purest of intentions. Seven of swords into the eight of swords. They did not have the purest of intentions. Throwing that out there. There was no emotion involved in this. More on the seven of swords. Yeah, ace of coins into the two of coins reversed. Yeah, yeah. They, they were juggling. This, the, this, no. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, they came back. There's a lesson in this. This was fated to happen. Just throwing that out there. No wonder you have a bad attitude. No wonder you're not healing from this. I wouldn't have either. I'd be a little bit pissed off myself. But let's address the not healing. You're not talking to him either, but you're not moving forward from it. I feel like you cut off communication completely, just threw in the towel, but you didn't heal. You're not healing. Five of cups reversed, six of cups reversed. There's bad blood. There's unprocessed emotions and there is bad blood. You are pissed. Oh my God. Star reversed. Just throwing it out. Not healing. You're angry. Okay. Okay. I get it. You're pissed. 
I get it. You got clarity. Threw in a towel. You're angry. You're having a hard time. I get it. What exactly are you having a hard time with? Is the outcome here is finally loving yourself and breaking free from it. And hard work paying off. Three of cups into the four of cups. Emperor into the Hierophant. Oh, I see now. I see now. Someone might try to come back and reunite. Noticing that you've been concentrating on work. Trying to smooth things over a little bit. Try to take control back over the situation. Queen of Swords first, King of Swords first. Yeah, you're still pissed. You ain't, you ain't biting. You ain't biting. You ain't biting. You're gonna ignore that cup. You're slamming the door. You ain't biting because you love yourself enough. I love this for you, Virgo. I fucking love this for you. Woof! Damn. All right, make or break. Nine of Pentacles. One on the Nine of Pentacles. Two of Swords first. Three of Swords first. Don't make a decision out of anger. Don't dive so deep into work because you're pissed off because you're trying to not process a heartache. I mean, yeah, it makes it kind of worth it when, when you know that... I should not say this, but I'm good anyway. When you know your worth and you know your value and then the person on the other side realizes it and they look like an asshole, okay, fine. But don't... Don't let that be the only reason that you work so hard. Do it because you love yourself and you know your value. Don't do it to, to, for it to be like a ha-ha to the other person. Ha-ha, mofo, you didn't see my worth and now you get to see it. That Just check your attitude, Virgo. Just check your attitude a little bit. I mean, I know it's a moment and it's a moment you will relish when and if it happens, but you got to check your attitude because don't, don't, don't. Don't put that out into the universe because it will come back to you tenfold. Just just be careful what you put out into the universe, baby. Just be careful. Page of swords into the two of swords, you know. Just, if you choose to cut this person off the knees and let them watch and cry over it, cool. But, you know. Oof. Okay. I, I'm laughing because I'm a Virgo moon. Let the tower fall. Know your worth. Don't let the bad blood continue to have this cycle go round and round and round. Okay? Because, okay, if you allow bad blood to make your decisions for you, you're just going to keep getting into the same cycle with different people. Isn't that what I just said? Isn't that what I just said? I believe that is what I just said, friends. Like, for fucking real. <laughs> Let the dust settle. Let the tower fall. Let what's going to happen, happen. I need one on this. Seven of Cups. Yeah, don't make decisions out of anger or bad blood. Because that's only going to impede forward movement. It only keeps you stuck in the damn cycle. Mm. 
Knight of Cups reversed, Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles reversed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Be careful of cups. It, use your discernment as to whether someone's in it for a long time or in it for a good time. Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? You need to use your discernment there. Watch whose cups you take in the future. Okay. Hermit reversed at the bottom of the deck. Don't self-isolate either. Don't delve yourself so deep into work because you're trying to avoid emotions. Don't do that to yourself. Okay. Good read, Virgo. Good read. Good read. Good read. That was fun. I enjoyed it. Aquarius. One more for Aquarius. It was a horrible shuffle. We're doing that again. reversed. Wow. I feel like you're spinning your wheels. Why are you spinning your wheels? Why are you spinning your wheels? <sighs> so I'm looking at this while I'm dropping these. Magician, the Queen of Wands, Eight of Cups reversed. Forward movement, knowing what you want, going after it. What's this Eight of Cups reversed all about? What's this Five of Pentacles reversed all about? Okay, so I feel like you're going to be presented with an option or several different options in regards to a situation. You're going to throw the towel in on something because it's one of your options. And you're in it, going to end up in inevitably going back to it. Because you miss it. I don't like your outcome. I don't like it. I don't like the Queen of Pentacles reversed. All right, I need clarity, Aquarius. I need clarity. What the hell is going on? Okay. 
They're saying no. All right, one more good one. Eight of Cups reversed about. Eight of Cups reversed and the Nine of Cups reversed. Oh gosh. Okay. Walked back into something that did not fulfill you. Okay. Page of Wands and the Knight of Wands, clarifying the Queen of Wands. <clears throat> Ten of Wands into the Ace of Wands. Okay. It was the release of a burden, manifesting something new. Walking a new path, following your passion, manifesting what you wanted, going after it. Walking the path, full force, just flying through it. What'd you have to return to? Funny thing about fire, it doesn't put a lot of thought into things. Just throwing this out there. Fire is the do without thinking. <laughs> it's not air. It's fire. <laughs> Aquarius, you're an air sign. You're probably the air sign that thinks things through the most. You're all thinkers. That's what you're known for. Geminis are constantly divided because, well, one side wants to do one thing while the other side wants to do something else. Libras are notorious for not being able to make up their mind, not trying to throw shade. I'm a Libra rising. I struggle with it. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. The Aquarians are the thinkers. They think everything through. You did not think this through. And you ended up having to return to something that did not emotionally fulfill you because I feel like Give me one more on that. Give me one more. Three of coins into the four of coins. Could have had something to do with money, foundations. Queen of Wands. Yeah. You wanted it. You went after it. Going into the King of Wands, you're spinning your wheels. Something isn't moving forward. Something isn't moving forward. Seven of Cups. Magician and the High Priestess. Being divinely guided to making a decision. Okay, sometimes when we're spinning our wheels and... Okay, you put out into the universe and need another option. You're given options. But the universe may give you more than one. So, throw another one on that. Wow, this is going to be a long one. Two of cups reversed, three of cups reversed. I'm feeling like... And this is where it gets interesting. You get a disconnect from somebody. You're spinning your wheels. You have to disconnect from someone. And this is where love comes in. Hmm. Someone, something. This could be career. This could be love. Take it however it resonates. Put yourself wherever you see fit. Nine of Wands, Six of Cups reversed, Seven of Cups reversed. 
Emperor, Empress reversed. Oh, or Empress and Emperor in the upright. Okay. Separation causing bad blood. Maybe I picked the wrong path. Maybe I made the wrong choice. One on this Empress. Queen of Coins into the King of Coins. You have to do what's best for you. What's productive? What's abundant? She's holding a baby. King of Cups into the Page of Cups. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I feel like you're faced with the decision whether or not you're going to follow your heart. Do you follow your heart or do you follow your wallet? I feel like you follow your heart. Yeah. Knight of Wands reversed and the Queen of Wands reversed. You don't move forward with something because you miss someone. Queen of Cups reversed to King of Cups reversed. King of Swords reversed to the Page of Swords reversed. Oof. Oh, 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 Aquarius. It's like scattered and all over the fucking place, but it's flowing at the same time. How weird is that shit? You're questioning it. You're questioning it. Trying, trying to keep a hold of your emotions, but being emotional at the same time. Clarity, moon reversed into the sun. You're gaining clarity on what will and will not make you happy. Seven of cups reversed into the eight of cups reversed. That's where the return comes in. Outcome, Queen of Pentacles reversed. One on that. Fool and the Magician. Isn't that weird how it all comes round? Sometimes you have to go full circle to make a new start. Sometimes you have to learn a valuable life lesson. Page of Cups into the Knight of Cups. Oh, wow. Communications, apologies. Hmm. I feel the I need you, I want you, I want to come home. Why the Nine of Pentacles? wheel in the reverse the return because the scales are not level and the knight of coins slow moving energy into the queen so you make or break what do you choose Aquarius this was Definitely fucked up. Just throwing this out there. <laughs> wow. What do you choose, Aquarius? Oh my god. Okay. 
uh, four swords. Processing a heartbreak. Cutting out what needs to be cut out and doing what is ultimately best for you. And sometimes you have to go around the wheel and around the world to learn a very valuable life lesson. Don't lose sleep over this. Only you can decide what you are bound to. You have the power to disconnect from toxic things. I don't know who. Toxic and or binding things. You have and hold power over your energy. Just throwing that out there. I don't know who needs to hear that. Eddie Cups reversed. Six of Swords, Queen of Swords. You have to be honest with yourself. And you have to be honest with the people around you. You have to be honest about your intentions. And sometimes you gotta dump somebody's cup. Page of Wands, Ten of Pentacles reversed. Yeah? Sometimes when we act too quickly, it's not the most productive thing, is it? You gotta think things through. Aquarius, I should never have to tell you that. Sometimes we have to go around the world to learn a life lesson, don't we? It is possible to think things through without keeping yourself up all night. All right, Aquarius, what the hell? <sighs> Emperor reversed. You got to regain control. <laughs> you have to regain control. That, oh my gosh. What the hell was that? I don't know who needed that, but I hope you got something out of it. Because that, I can't even wrap my head around that right now. Holy cow. Mm. It's like card salad night here at Fireside Tara. <sighs> Throw another shrimp on the bobby. Okay. <sighs> Alright, who's next? I think I got two left. Yeah, I got two left. Gemini. Whew. My fucking head hurts. Holy cow. Aquarius, why are you going to do that to me? Sometimes I just keep throwing them down to let a story play out. I apologize if it takes too long, but... My natural Sagittarius curiosity gets the best of me. A lot. Well, that's awesome, Gemini. You're finding inner peace and happiness. The challenge is someone's not speaking to you. Okay. Or you're not speaking to someone. Maybe y'all ain't speaking to each other. I don't know. Oh, no. I gotta pause. I gotta pick up some cards. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So... Hmm. All right. Possibly like inner work, self work. Maybe you're working a lot, concentrating on work, concentrating on stacking your bread, earning your coin. It's 
something coming to a completion, something coming to a close, fated event possibly with this Wheel of Fortune, justice reversed. Could be a legal matter, something not fair, something not balanced. Why is it happening? Lack of healing, independence, and an unlit path. Well, damn. Okay. All right. What's the outcome? I'm gonna make or break. Coming out of your head about it, it no longer consuming your thoughts. The make or break is keeping the door closed on something. You're closing something out. There was secrets. Things weren't clear. Something wasn't made clear. There isn't a healing in, this, in a situation. God, this is sketch. I gotta clear that up. We gotta clear that up. I don't know if this is you or the other person. All right, clarity for Gemini, please. All right, one more, one more, one more. Star reversed. Eight of cups reversed and the nine of cups reversed. There was a return because something hadn't healed. Somebody still wasn't happy. Either you return to something to try to heal it or somebody returned to you. Maybe it was mutual. I don't know. There wasn't happiness. It didn't lead to happiness. It didn't lead to the healing that was expected or wanted. Ten of Wands reversed into the Ace of Wands reversed. Yeah. Something, something didn't get started. Something didn't complete that, was sh that should have completed and something new didn't start. It didn't start over. There was no do-over. Because y'all didn't fucking heal. Okay, if you end a relationship on a bad note or pause a relationship on a bad note and vibrations don't raise between you and you try to go back to it with the same energies, what the hell do you think is going to happen? You're going to repeat the damn cycle over again. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. Two of Swords into Three of Swords. Somebody had to make a painful decision to process process a heartbreak. Somebody somebody had to make a decision with clarity. And a heart was broken. Probably someone trying to fight for their independence or trying to be extremely independent, trying to be independent from something. Something to do with money and independence. I don't know. Take it however it resonates. Put yourself there if you see fit. Wherever. Wheel of Fortune. The Hermit reversed into the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Self-isolation, faded event. Give me one on that, please. Three of wands into the four of wands. Somebody trying to bring instability. Somebody isolated. I feel like somebody waited. Somebody, somebody waited. Really? Somebody waited for somebody to see the light and they never saw the light? Somebody waited to try to build a foundation and it never got built? Somebody tried to restart something.
I don't think he restarted it. I think so someone was fiercely independent, had to make a decision with clarity to break somebody's heart. A little more on that. Five of Wands reversed, Six of Wands reversed. Yeah. Somebody didn't want conflict. Somebody didn't want drama. Somebody made a decision with clarity. Try to avoid conflict and drama. To just be done with it and end it. And I, I, I feel like somebody I feel like somebody got blocked here. I feel like somebody got blocked. It's like you cannot come back into my life. I don't know if it was you or the other person, but somebody is not allowed back in at this point. Alright, one tell me about this moon for Gemini. Chariot and strength. Yeah, trudging along even even through the darkness. Three coins reverse, four coins reverse. Just releasing, letting go, accepting there was no foundation. Just releasing and letting go. Trudging along through the darkness. Star reversed, moon reversed. No healing. Clarity. There's no healing until there's clarity. Maybe you find your healing through clarity. Page of coins into the night of coins, slow moving energy. Slowly, slowly, possibly an apology. This is super fucking weird, Gemini. These events don't necessarily come out in order. I don't know what came first, the chicken or the egg. I don't know in which order something happened in, but this is what happened. You didn't get a new start. You're working on you. Something's getting closed out. Seven of Cups into the Eight of Cups. You're moving forward, moving on. You're picking a path and you're going. Four of Cups reversed. You're ignoring Cups right now. You're not looking at Cups. You're not dealing with Cups. You're concentrating on you. You're finding your inner peace. That's exactly what you're supposed to be doing. You're closing something out so something new can begin. That's exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Two of Cups into the Three of Cups. Clarifying justice. Okay. Ace of Coins reversed into the Ten of Coins. Love, reunion, something new. Not beneficial. Not abundant. Not balanced. Oh boy, Gemini. Okay. One more. Five of Swords reversed and the Six of Swords reversed could be a return. Okay. Possibly something coming in trying to rebalance the scales. Maybe you want to try to rebalance the scales. I don't see it as being the best thing, but do you, Gem. Do you. And this Eight of Swords reversed. Magician reversed. High Priestess reversed. Putting out of your head. That's so ego. Two of coins reversed, three of coins. You're just trying to regain balance. You're not trying to manifest anything right now. You're trying to find clarity. You're trying to desperately to find clarity in a situation. But you're not overthinking it anymore. Just trying to regain your balance and build foundations. And that's awesome. That's that's your outcome. Regaining balance, building foundations. Six of coins reversed, seven of coins reversed. Not achieving it though. And those four of wands reversed. The devil. I feel like you need to close the door on something toxic in your life. Wow. Didn't the devil come out in your reading the other day? 
I think it was yesterday. Was it yesterday? It might have been yesterday, last night when I did that. You need to close the door on some something toxic. Something that's going to send your world crashing down. You need to close the door on it. Or you're just fucking yourself out of stability. Nine of swords reversed, ten of swords reversed. Don't overthink what it is. But you may be holding off a painful ending. Six of swords reversed, seven of swords reversed. Keep returning to the same thing. Keep returning to the same old bullshit cycles. Things keep cycling through the way they do because you haven't released your toxicity yet. You need to close the door on your toxicity. You're working on inner peace and that's awesome. I don't know, ten of swords. Ten of swords reversed into the ace of swords reversed until you release something that keeps dragging you down that is painful. Until you shake the swords out and let the sun shine again in your life, nothing's going to be productive. You stop isolating and ignoring it and release yourself from it. Get yourself out of the gallows or nothing's going to move forward. Ten of Cups reversed, Four of Pentacles reversed, Ace of Wands. Once you release the things that don't make you happy and don't fulfill you emotionally, a new start can begin. Six of Pentacles reversed. Shit is out of balance. You got to rebalance your life, Gemini. There is a fine balance between love and money. There is a fine balance between what is going to benefit you and what is not. The things that make us happy don't always benefit us. Example, if toxic things make you happy, well, um, is that benefiting you? Is that productive or abundant? What's your happiness? Feels like false happiness to me, just throwing that out there. Okay. I'm in... You know what? I get it. I feel it. I've been down that road. Been down that road. We'll get into that later. That's another video. Libra. Finally got to Libra. We're closing it out. Whew, gosh, this is taking forever tonight. I apologize. Okay. The weekly is supposed to be quick and to the point. Well, sometimes it can't be quick to the point. Sometimes if somebody needs a message, it, and it's gotta, sometimes i got to throw it on some cards, guys. I'm sorry. That's why I time stamp it so you all ain't got to sit and watch the whole damn thing. Two more for Libra. Moving forward, the challenge is it's not equal. Nine of Wands, Six of Wands reversed, Knight of Cups. Rising up, one more round. Lack of victory. We're going to get clarity on that guy. Why is it happening? Someone can hold back no more. A 
Libra, you the catch, baby. Somebody wants it with you. I feel like this might be this Knight of Wands coming toward you. Or is it the Knight of Cups? There's two knights here. Oh. This is an equal. What's the challenge? Whatever this is, it's not equal give and take. It's not leading to victory. This guy. Insert whatever pronoun you want. It's a dude on the card. Okay? <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Insert whatever pronoun you want. Six of Swords reversed. Eight of Swords reversed. The outcome is a return. The make or break is coming out of a cage of your own thoughts about a situation. Let's get a little bit of clarity. Nine of Wands. Is coins reversed? Ten of coins reversed. One more round to no avail. No new start. Not productive. The seed will not grow. Fire, fire, fire. If it's a fire sign, I don't think it's going to be productive. Just throwing that out there. It's not going to serve you. Knight of Wands into the Queen of Wands, and it's reversed. Yeah, it's not going to move forward. It's not going to move forward. Could be some jealousy issues. Could be some bad blood. I don't know. Six of Wands. The Fated Event. Justice working in your favor. It's the Wheel of Fortune. Moving into justice. I love this deck, by the way. I love the in-between tarot. So much more information packed in one little card. It's the faded event. Hmm. 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 It's interesting. The eight of coins into the nine of coins. Someone willing to put in the work and the effort. Ace of Cups reversed, Two of Cups reversed, leading to a breakup, leading to someone not taking someone's cup. Hmm. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. Unsteady foundations, letting go. Five of Cups into the Six of Cups, the processing of emotions into a soulmate connection. Ten of Cups into the Ace of Cups. Start over. Start over. Something's coming to a completion. So something new can begin. Tell me about strength. Star reverse, tower reverse, something that didn't heal in the past. Ah. The rebuilding of a tower. Someone no longer able to hold back. Tell me about the elephant. Four of wands reversed into the five of wands reversed. Someone wants to come out of conflict and drama and rebuild a tower. Someone wants to come out of conflict. Some of them may not have been steady or stable in the past. 
Eight of Cups reversed into the Nine of Cups reversed. Hmm. This didn't make you happy in the past. There was conflict. There was drama. But it was faded. It was destined. Six of Cups reversed. Ace of Swords reversed to the Two of Swords reversed. Somebody had to make a difficult choice. I never know what or what order these events take place in when they come down. But this is what happened. You had to make a difficult choice and you chose you. Caused a little bit of bad blood. Caused a little bit of confusion. Something didn't kick off in the past, but you chose you. They still viewed you as the catch. You were the one that got away. There may have been an attempt at return at one point. Solid foundation couldn't be built. You just avoided conflict. Someone couldn't hold back anymore and wants to rebuild the tower. This is a fucking return. Are you willing to keep the past in the past? And don't go into that Eight of Swords mode and overthinking this shit. That's the question. Eight of Wands reversed. Nine of Wands reversed. Uh, I feel like you're going to throw the towel in on it. Two of Wands reversed, three of Wands reversed. Possibly they made you wait a little bit too long. They left you at the crossroads too long. Something's coming back. Two of Cups are two of Cups upright, three of Cups upright. That's a reunion. Seven of Cups into the Eight of Cups. You might walk away from this just because of the confusion. I don't know. You got two cups to choose from. You have a choice to make. I don't feel like one of them is abundant, but I feel like one of them broke your heart once already. Do whatever you're going to do. Knight of Pentacles reversed, High Priestess reversed, Judgment. It is up to you what you do, but if they come back, they hurt you in the past and they don't come back with a big fat apology. If that, That's not like the first thing out of their mouth. I, I, mm, I would question it, but it is ultimately your judgment call. Four of Swords, Justice reversed, Eight of Pentacles. If something was imbalanced in the past, it might serve you best to just rest, think about it. Don't overthink it, but think about it and work on you. And your forward movement, King of Wands. Wow, Libra. I gotta go to bed. This whooped my ass tonight. <laughs> Well, Earth and Air Sign friends, hopefully next week it can be all one video. <sighs> know that you love to be blessed. I will catch you guys next week.